if you need to switch video and control PTC cameras at the same time, you need the Rack Fusion Live. You will love this interface. It's a tactile controller with PTC and live switching functions in a single unit. In this video, we'll explore what you can do with it. The Rack Fusion Live is a perfect example of Skyway's approach to supporting multiple devices. It is a half switching surface and a half PVC controller. So on the one side, you get a nice three axis joystick and six keys and four encoders for settings and camera selection and preset recall. And on the other side, you have a nine key bus row. And above that, you have six keys for overlays or audio. And under these keys, you have six RGB LED bars that you can use for uh, confidence monitoring of audio, tally, or whatever you would like them to be. And there are two nice encoders as well with OLED displays over them. So you also get a nice uh, transition slider with an LED bar for transition positioning. And here in the middle, you have six big tactile buttons for your primary switching operations. All of these buttons, they are four-way buttons and they offer incredible flexibility as any of them, they can become a little binary joystick. So um, they could actually adjust audio or whatever other function that you need them to be. The four-way functionality means that they can act like an encoder to adjust values up and down. That's insanely flexible. This is an IP device with its own brain. So it does not rely on a computer to function as a USB device would do. And you can put the controller in the hands of your operator no matter where he or she is. Hardware surfaces are not just about getting a tactile control. They are also about stability, which you'll get with the Skahoy panel. The first use case we'll explore is a Bird Dog P200 camera along with the VMix Vision Mixing System. Very, very popular configuration for the Rack Fusion Live. So on the right side, we can control the P200 camera with the joystick, of course, and uh, zoom in, pan, tilt with the joystick, rotating the knob and so forth. We can also home the camera on the top here like that. If we um, select on the lower edge of this button, we can recall preset number one, preset number two. We can even store preset very easily if we uh, find a nice uh, crop here. Then I press and hold, I store on uh, preset number three, this location, and then I can go forth and back between these. On the upper edge, I can cycle the menu of the settings. I can uh, be in auto mode for exposure, or I can go to manual mode for exposure like I'm doing right here and adjust the settings as I like. Um, if I go back to the camera selector, you would easily imagine that multiple cameras would show up here with more buttons with backlight. I can also adjust the speed of the camera. So inside the menus, you'll find multiple things you can do like setting a different speed limit for the pan tilt and zoom operations along with the focus operations. And that's just to mention a few of the settings you can do. On the left side of the controller, there's all the features you want to control in VMAX. Most importantly, you have tactile control of selecting your sources for your active and your preview inside of VMAX. That is done by these buttons, of course. You can also do a cut, you can do auto, you can make a transition with the fader bar here as you want. On the upper row of buttons, you can adjust overlays. So, for instance, Currently, I am on overlay four, so I can enable overlay four on and off on source number five. If I go to source number, uh, overlay number one, and do it on source number uh, four, then you can see how this lower third gets enabled and disabled again. At the time of this recording, we support more than 30 different PDC camera models and more are being added constantly. We support most of the major switching systems as well, like Blackmagic Design, ATEM, TriCaster, VMix, Livestream Studio, and OBS. Check our website to see if we support your exact favorite combo of PDC camera and switching system. The second use case for RackFusion Live combines Livestream Studio with three NDI cameras from Newtek and the software application from Skahoy called Keybridge. Keybridge allows us to control a computer, as you'll see in a moment. And right now, we can control on the switcher side of the Rack Fusion Live, the Livestream Studio software. So selecting sources for preview, 
pressing the cut button to make a cut, using the fader to transition between the two and executing an auto transition if we want that. On the right side of the controller, we can select the three cameras. So this is camera number one, and we can operate this camera with a joystick. Of course we can, we can zoom in and all that good stuff. If we look at this side, there are now two buttons that we don't use for camera selection. That's the preview and the next button right here. And we decided to map those to Keybridge so we could advance the slideshow. I have a slideshow behind me, so when I press the next button, I will advance to the next slide. And that's because Keybridge is the application that picks up this button press and moves the slideshow forward. Before we leave this configuration, let's check the various options we have here on the switcher side of the controller. And I promised you how cool the four-way buttons would be. As you can see, we are able to adjust audio sources by using the edges of the button to go up and down in value. You can even nudge them by pressing repeatedly like that. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with the Rack Fusion Live. Follow us here to stay updated on new development and see use cases from our other customers. If you are looking for another form factor, we have more than 20 other control services that run the same software, but have different arrangement of the hardware components. So you can definitely find your personal favorite. Check all of them out on our website. Thanks for watching.